It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders coming up next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. In most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight, 500. That would have won the NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division, so you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. Well, meanwhile, for the Eagles, the big question, how would they improve their squad in 2023 and make another run at a Super Bowl title? Well, they took a few hits in free agency, but by most accounts, really hit a home run during April's draft. You were there. What did you make of it? It was almost a night beyond their wildest dreams. Perhaps the best player in the draft somehow fell to nine where the Eagles traded up to get him and a terrific pass rusher they got at 30. Wonderful draft, extra pieces for a Super Bowl contender. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The commander's set to go to work on offense and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season. Former Tar Heel, Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from Commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth-round pick. One start as a rookie. It didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first-round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Howell's thrown into the hands of McClellan. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Off play action. It's Hal. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up. Does the big boy have the juice? And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return touchdown and Charles look at the big fella what a rumble that was not only a scoop it but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown and now you know they're gonna have to hear about it from now on the defensive backs he's gonna want to run with them do their drills the whole deal he thinks he's the pace setter now it doesn't matter what happens in practice this week he's smiling on for the extra point Jake Elliott He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-zip. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here now a third down and eight. Here's Hal. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback. But last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons and run for another 23. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Here's Hurts to throw. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Throwing is Hurts. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. That's the Chase Young we all saw coming out of Ohio State, and no one's questioning the potential of the 2020 Rookie of the Year. The key for him, staying on the field. Help makes this a crucial year for his future in D.C. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And Howe will throw it. Can't get away and he's taken down. Hassan Reddick. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Al, he'll look to throw it. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Al down to throw it. Pressure comes and down he goes. 
Hassan Reddick, what a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. And now a pause because we've got A.J. Brown and dinged up on that last play and they're going to have to get some medical attention to him. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They work now on second and nine. Hurts. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's brought down. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. On second down, Swift. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Robinson. And he's got room. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second down at six now from the 42. Throwing here, Howell. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Powell. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A very solid gain of 27. 
And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Now Hal. And a dump off here to Robinson. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Robinson up the middle. He stiff arms him. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Powell toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. Howell. This is caught. And the commanders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Washington. This is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line him up and let him get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one side of daylight. He finds it, and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss. 
loss of five on the sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Play action. Here's Hurts. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Zaki is here hauling it in. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now a throw here, hold in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. Now a second and two, as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, a run with Gibson, and he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up, shedding the tackle. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. It's easy to celebrate every good run by Robinson because stories don't get much better than his last year. Shot during an attempted robbery just 13 days before the regular season. He made it back by week five and played in 12 games for Washington. Even better, gained almost 800 yards, leading the Commanders. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. This time, they'll throw it with Hal. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Looking to throw. Powell. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. 
Nine yards is the loss on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really You don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah. And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed, because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes, if you have a game where neither side has scored, Three punts isn't a bad thing, but when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. They'll drop to throw. Burns fumbles it, and it's Washington that scoops it up. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. Here now, second and four. Well, the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Third catch in his first half for him, and this one is a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first down, Hal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. 
And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this trip. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Second down, here's Hurts. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That third down conversion, good for 23. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. But first down, Hurts. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Pickup of six. Brings up second and four at their 49-yard line. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Here's Hurts to throw. Buying time. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. Chase Young, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Now it's Crowder. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly. But here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, They'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. This offense so far on third down, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Now Hal. It got his man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, he booked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. 
You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps and delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Hal. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Now they go play action with Hal. This is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They hand off to their big tight end. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. John Bates punching it in from a yard away. And the Commanders had six to their lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 22, here's second and eight. Hurts. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing his hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Uh, so often we're watching a football game. We see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. 
He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Complete to Zacchaeus. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Sweat the man that time to fight in and drop him. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Under pressure and they got to him again. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. We're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the Commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Ryan Robinson. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown is the difference, 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and three. On the option left, it's Hurts. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They go play action with Hertz. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to the running game with Swift. Oh, nice move. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts. A four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender. <laughs> QB's last. Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Now second and seven from the 23. Robinson with another carry. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 65 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. 
So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Powell. This pass hold in by Dodson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Straight ahead, Gibson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now how? And his throw is going to be incomplete. When we start looking for big-time corners, we're going to start with athleticism, but without technique... You're not going to make plays as one we just saw there. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Back to throw, Howell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 40. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. It's Howe with another throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Howell from the gun. And that's incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Hurt sets up to throw it. His throw incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. 
So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll set up to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll try and run here with Swift. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu. I'll tell you that much for free. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Washington offense back out there. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Howell's throw complete there to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Well, they sent the power set out there and their job is to be man on man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing it for a loss. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And he has another first down and so get the ball down to the Eagles 29 yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Down to about the 22 here. 74 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and seven. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Looking for the corner, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Commanders have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Slide for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive takes them down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. On the option to give to Swift here. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. All the option to give to Swift here. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 40. Give them 10 yards on that one, and that earns them a fresh set of downs. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? But first down, Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. 
One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Play action. Here's Hertz. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Robinson on a give right side. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this one complete to Smith. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Hurts. again his third sack of the afternoon I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush they have been sensational CD that is now six sacks for them and how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job but let's be honest about this one this is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush they've been teeing off all game long Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's gonna have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. 
False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You get the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Throwing his hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another 18-yard gain. They had 18 on the previous snap as well. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, He's going to win that battle just about every time. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10 on the option to give to Swift here. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Elliott now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive goes eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. First down, how to throw. Complete, it's Dotson. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Hand off now to Robinson. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. The offense on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This will be third and five. Al, he'll look to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. And partner, the tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. On 
Draw the give. Here's Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Back to throw. Howell. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Tressway now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. On first and ten, it's Smith. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop it right at the line. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll try again here, second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Smith here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's complete. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here's second and a yard. Hurt sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Here's first down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Here's a second and seven. This is Swift on the counter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. 
They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This to take the lead here in the final minute. The kick by Elliott is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. So here we go now with Hal and the Commanders. Down 27-24, 46 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Hal to throw. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Here's Howell. Oh, and that is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Brandon, you got to have some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is they're all 30 yards downfield after that play. Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. It was a pretty entertaining ball game, Charles. Had the lead changes going on in the second half, but I think for the losing side, not able to put any points on the board in the fourth quarter, that ultimately was what really stung them. And you know what puzzled them? during the game, it's going to puzzle them even more when they go back, watch tape, and try and figure it all out. Did they not make the proper adjustments, or were they just outplayed? They'll have to figure that out and get ready for their next one.